What's up everybody? We're back again. This time with almost the same shoe. This is the Luxembourg sneaker from Louis Vuitton. But instead of the embossed monogram leather, this is the uh, canvas monogram. Monogram canvas, how about that? White monogram canvas, super rubber outsole, and Louis Vuitton signature on the tongue and back. Monogram flowers on the outsole, made in Italy. All the way. And again, it's that same box that kind of collapses, which is a little annoying. It's more like a sleeve as opposed to an actual box. I don't know why they changed it, but there they go. Uh, as you saw, dust bag. They came in two dust bags, just normal. Little tissue on the inside. Haven't worn them yet. Haven't even worn the other ones that I got yet either. But that should change uh, fairly soon. As you can see, this is what you get with the leather embossed. And this is what you get with the monogram canvas. Essentially the same sneaker, only difference is obviously the materials used. And on the back where it says Louis Vuitton, the monogram canvas is in a silver. Let's see if we can get close. There you go, like you see it's silver. All written in silver, it says Paris though, as opposed to Italy. And this one is in gold. So basically the only like subtle difference that you see. Oh, on the tongue, same situation. All in silver. For the canvas, leather has gold. At least this uh, particular version of the leather. Otherwise, everything is exactly identical. Uh, the one difference that I did notice is that the insole, uh, this thing right here, yeah, feels like it's not... I don't know if it's my imagination, but it does feel like it's, it's a little bit slippery, but not as a little more slippery than the other shoe i could be wrong I'm, i just might just be like a placebo thing i'm just thinking everything is less slippier than what it is but on the inside monogram on the ins or i guess the insole right or the the sole of the sneaker i don't know what you call this this is the insole this is the bottom of the sneaker but it's like a felt a rough felt by the way throw this back in but it's the same insole Real thick, real good. And there's the details of the flowers and stars on the outsole. Bottom has that diamond look to it. Ah, is that the same as like Vans and stuff? I'm not quite sure. I don't have a pair of Vans. But I feel like that's what Vans look like on the bottom. Could be wrong though. I don't know. You tell me. But other than that, same situation. Uh, this material feels like it's gonna be okay it doesn't feel too uh, too terrible the canvas uh, it feels you know obviously not as supple and smooth as leather does obviously but the canvas itself feels like it, sh it should be durable enough hopefully it doesn't like crack or anything like that I have seen my other black shoes that are canvas the matchup sneaker kind of has like a cracking right there but it is this one is in white so you probably won't see it as much because every time you see the cracking it is kind of it looks like it's a Whatever like wax or something that they use on the outside, it kind of starts cracking. Not the canvas itself, but like whatever material that they use to like, I don't know, seal it or whatever. It's like a, of like a wax that they put over perhaps. And that starts to crack wherever you have a crease. This hopefully you won't see it as much just because it is already white. But I don't know, time will tell when I do a review. But as you can see, you can see the flowers, LV on it. You can see it on the embossed as well, but it's a lot more subtle on the embossed. This one is a little bit more pronounced, but it looks generally the same. So just give it a quick look and a quick comparison of the two. Tell me which one you like more. I'm personally going with the embossed leather because just for durability and look wise, it's just a little bit more, I don't know, clean, so to speak, just because it's all white as opposed to having like the slightly gray uh, tone of the of the monogram but I still like the white monogram though it still looks a very very nice very classy 
but this one's slightly less loud. Only slightly, but just enough to make it, you know, palatable. And yeah, the same on the inside is that new like a uh, textured feel or like cloth material. Feels really nice, so it's not just all 100% leathering inside, making it all slippery and probably less comfortable. This makes it probably more a little more breathable. I have not worn it just yet, but they do feel very, very comfortable. Is this the best sneaker that Louis de Pitton has ever made, at least for comfortability and probably durability? I'm not 100% sure. Time will tell, but they do feel very, very nice. So there's a quick look. Give you some nice close-up shots so you can see. How that booty working. What's kind of interesting also is like whatever hits that they have, the, the paneling, uh, it doesn't line up with the rest of the sneaker. I've noticed that all the LVs and everything like that all have the same like look, same placement and whatnot. Like even this one has the same placement. These are both uh, size eights in Louis Vuittons. But it just, for some reason, the paneling is just haphazardly placed. There's no rhyme or reason why this should look like this. Uh, you would think because it's Louis Vuitton that it would all match. That's like kind of what they're good with, with symmetry and everything like that. But for the paneling, they really didn't care. They used whatever leftover parts they could to fit the shoe. Kind of a little disappointing, but it's not the end of the world. It's not a big deal. But it would be a nice touch if they actually lined them up very nicely. And the collar is all leather. It feels all leather anyway. Nice soft leather. And on the inside just has a little bit where the collar is. But the rest of it is all that material nice cloth material so hopefully I'll give you an update in another couple months or two when I start wearing them more and whatnot see size 8 interesting the writing on the inside for the for the style code and whatnot are actually in gold as opposed to the silver hmm kind of interesting I wonder what it is for this one. Oh wow they do the opposite interesting for the monogram one uh, at least for the for the leather one it's actually in silver and this is gold. And it's the exact opposite for this one. Hey, let's look at the insole. <gasps> but both insoles are gold. Huh. You learn something new every day. Anyway, my name is Emilio. Enjoy the rest of the day. If you liked the video, feel free to share it. Feel free to subscribe. If you subscribe, I would appreciate it. And I love you for it. Anyway, my name is Emilio. Enjoy the rest of your day. And this is what it looks like comparing and contrasting to the two.